Hello, I'm Robert West, a webcast producer for Campus Safety. Our next Campus Safety Education Series webinar, Caring for School First Responders, will be led by Guy M. Grace. Grace has worked in the security field for 33 years. He currently serves as the Director of Security and Emergency Planning for Littleton Public Schools, a suburb of Denver, Colorado. Grace joins us today to answer a few questions about the presentation and share a few takeaways. Good morning, thank you for inviting me. So, as a school security director, uh, being in the field for 33 years, I have seen my share of incidents that have happened in our schools, whether that be reference to an active shooter incident or to a kid being injured on the school grounds or accidents, things like that. It's, those things happen and they're going to happen on a daily basis. Like for example, in a school like our district with 16,000 students, we typically have three ambulance calls a day to our schools where staff are responding to say a kid falling off the swing so a kid breaks his arm and those things could be quite how do i say we're, we're those teachers and staff members at that school are the first responders and you could imagine um, the stress and those types of things that they're dealing with when they're responding to just a kid with a broken arm and seeing the injury that that kid suffers um so seeing these types of things over 33 years this topic that we're going to talk about in our campus safety webinar and over campus security is very important to me because really just over the years have just seen people greatly impacted by the responses that we have as school officials. I also want to make a point too that we always hear the word of first responder applied to law enforcement and fire and I am not taking anything away from that. What I'm trying to say is that our school employees are often the first responders when emergencies happen on the campuses. Your presentation is titled Caring for School First Responders. Can you tell us briefly about your experience dealing with a violent incident at school? Well, as a, I responded to uh, the active, we had an active shooter incident in December 13, 2013 at Arapahoe High School. I was the incident coordinator for that response to that incident. I've also been a responder to uh, uh, two suicides on school grounds in my career here where that involved firearms and things that were, you know, quite disturbing to me. I think that one of the most grateful, uh, what I say, tremendous impacts that I've had in my career is stu student suicide and experiencing those types of um, situ the after effects of when a student commits suicide and things. I find that those have impacted me greatly as well, but they impact the, everybody, the entire community. And this is why it's so important for us to have this discussion. And, and I, am, I appreciate the fact that seeing this being put out there to be out there for other school employees, for us to sit here and analyze and talk about what we are experiencing in our careers. Uh, so what will you be covering in your presentation and who's gonna join you during the discussion? So for the webinar, I'm going to have several of my team members uh william cornforth who is the district as a district security officer he uh he was a responder to the arapaho incident but he was also the person that was doing a lot of the video and things during that incident and sounding the lockdown notification as well he's going to have some very enlightening uh, comments to, or input to make about his experience of just being here in a command center that you see behind us and working through the incident then I have Dara Van Kampen, and she is going to be uh, talking a little bit about her experiences in um, several of the uh, situations that we've had that have been emergencies here in the school district, and she's going to share her experiences as well. Um, the other person I invited to for that webinar is Deborah Grace, and she is my wife. However, she's a school psychologist who's been working in the uh, in school safety for the last 10 years as well. But she's gonna come back and give uh, an input back to our audience about being a wife of, a, of somebody who is a risk dealing with these types of situations. So, but she'll be able to put in a little bit of the psychology aspect as well to our presentation. So what should the audience hope to take away from your presentation afterwards? Well, we're, what I'm hoping the audience will take away from this pre presentation is that they realize that school employees can and will be first responders in emergencies, that there's going to be a tremendous impact on those employees and their families 
as they're dealing with these in, uh, situations and the aftermath. There's also what we're going to be doing is sharing our strategies that we experienced that were helpful for us to get to a recovery period. How to, Because we have to look at that. When we're going through these emergencies, things just don't end for us right there when that, when that incident is over. We got to function afterwards. And the stresses and the requirements that we need to be doing at that time are even tenfold of what we did in the emergency. So what's important for us is to be able to function and be able to function for our school districts, our community, and our families. And we're going to hopefully share some of the strategies that we did that we came up with or experienced because it wasn't perfect, <laughs> but that were helpful for us to overcome the challenges that we, we see, saw and continue to see as responders. Thank you again for taking the time to speak to our audience today. Make sure to sign up now for the upcoming Campus Safety Education Series webinar, Caring for School First Responders. I'm Robert West. Have a good day.